Brownsville, your United States Army drill team.
this again and exercise in trust as each member will have to put their safety in the hands of their brothers in arms. This is the United States Army drill team signature maneuver since 1958. The rear overhead rifle toss. Training Center and Fort Jackson for the graduation of Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta Companies from the 1st Battalion, 34th Infantry Regiment, 165th Infantry Brigade, today who have volunteered to serve their country as soldiers. This review is the last official formation of the training cycle. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training, but those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values of loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. 
This is an important day, and they can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the parents, families, and friends of these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of them and are equally honored that they have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are the 282nd Army Band under the command of Chief Warrant Officer Thomas W. Jackson, Jr., graduating soldiers from Alpha Company, Bravo Company, the Battalion Color Guard, graduating soldiers from Charlie Company and Delta Company. Identified by their distinctive headgear of the drill sergeants, these dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system. Selected on the basis of professional competence, leadership ability, and years of service, these men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat goes the important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Major D.J. Hurt, who serves as the executive, executive officer for the 1st Battalion, 34th Infantry Regiment. Major Hurt and the battalion staff are positioned on the field. The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the commander of the 1st Battalion, 34th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Chanda Ian Mofu from Rancho Palos Verdes, California. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Christopher R. Barnard from Calais, Maine, the senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander. The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored. <laughs> Competence and commitment are the hallmarks of professionalism. The soldiers and drill sergeants coming forward will be recognized for their excellence in training and duty performance and serve as examples to all. Lieutenant Colonel Mofu and Command Sergeant Major Barnard will now present the awards. The Outstanding Drill Sergeant of the Cycle for Alpha Company is Drill Sergeant Jason Roberts from Watseka, Michigan. Private Jake Beeler from Denver, Colorado. The student leader of the cycle for Alpha Company is Private Timothy Judge from Fort Worth, Texas. The highest score on the end of cycle physical fitness test for Alpha Company, scoring 335 points, is Private Madison South from Campbellsville, Kentucky. Scoring record marksmanship for Alpha Company, hitting 39 out of a possible 40 targets, 
Ms. Private James Brady from Simpsonville, South Carolina. The outstanding drill sergeant of the cycle for Bravo Company is Drill Sergeant Stephen McCoy from Silva, North Carolina. Private Jacob Casella from Phoenix, Arizona. The student leader of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private Ian Sawyers from Portsmouth, Ohio. The highest score on the end of cycle physical fitness test for Bravo Company, scoring 293 points, is PFC Ryan Hill from Humboldt, Iowa. The highest score on rifle marksmanship for Bravo Company. Hitting 40 out of a possible 40 targets is Private Erica Perkins from York. <laughs> the outstanding drill sergeant of the cycle for Charlie Company is drill sergeant Kate Poor from Savannah, Georgia. The honor graduate for Charlie Company is Private Cheyenne Daly from Bangor, Pennsylvania. The student leader of the cycle for Charlie Company is Private Kenneth Rutledge from Atlanta, Georgia. The highest score on the end of cycle physical fitness test for Charlie Company, scoring 317 points, is Private Nikise Williams from Atlanta, Georgia. The highest score in rifle marksmanship for Charlie Company, hitting 40 out of possible 40 targets, is Private DeJour Jameson from Killeen, Texas. <laughs> the outstanding drill sergeant of the cycle for Delta Company is Drill Sergeant William Thompson from Walnut, Illinois. The honor graduate for Delta Company is Specialist Brian Sims from Bend, Oregon. The student leader of the cycle for Delta Company is Private Emily Foster from Norman, Oklahoma. The highest score on the end of cycle physical fitness test for Delta Company, scoring 295 points, is Private Luis Gutierrez from Anaheim, California. Highest scoring rifle marksmanship for Delta Company, hitting 40 out of a possible 40 targets, is Private Blake Pollock from Colorado Springs, Colorado. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 1st Battalion, 34th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Chanda Ian Mofu. Major General Johnson, uh, Command Sergeant Major Christian, uh, Command Sergeant Major Harris, Colonel Simons, uh, Major Tyler Dwyer and family. Mm. Former soldiers, distinguished guests, and families. Families, 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 how are you this morning? Good. How about that drill team, huh? Good job today, huh? That was awesome. You know, it's a, it, it, when we can go ahead and make graduation a little bit special by bringing uh, you know, some of the might, the talent that the United States Army has to offer here on this field. Uh, that's a good day. So again, let's give them another round of applause. Thank you very much. Thanks for the feed. <laughs> Families and friends of America's newest soldiers, uh, thank you for attending uh, the first time 34th Infantry Regiment's graduation today. Command Sergeant Major Barnard and I are excited and proud to have you here. Uh, for those of you, uh, for this is the first time, this is your uh, your first visit to an Army post, welcome. And uh, we hope that your time yesterday was well spent uh, after, uh, after the rains and that we were blessed with this good weather. Uh, thank you very much, too, uh, for bringing back your soldier on time. 
Uh, I think their drill sergeant thanks them, and I think your soldier going to thank you for that one as well, uh, just so they didn't get in any trouble. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed your time with your soldier yesterday, and you were able to appreciate the changes that your soldier has gone through. The transition from civilian to soldier is a significant process, and you should be proud of where they stand right now. Uh, I, I'm a numbers guy, and this speech is going to be about numbers, because I believe that numbers are important. Uh, we use them every day, uh, from how many numbers are on the clock when we wake up, how many numbers are on the clock when we go to bed, and uh, what time we have to get up, uh, and everything in between, how many numbers are on the dollar that we have in our pockets, and how many numbers and minutes are wasted in any given day, that stuff matters. Numbers do matter. And we often don't give much thought to numbers until we reach our maximum number of years. And then we look back and wish we had more numbers. Even though numbers represent quantity, they also represent quality based upon what they mean. The question then becomes, how can one have more value, valuable numbers in their life? The answer, I believe, is to make them count. Here are a few quality numbers. The first number is 10. 10 weeks. 10 weeks ago, and actually probably longer than that because we were on a block leave. Um, you sent your son or daughter, your spouse, your brother, your sister to Fort Jackson. For that, I thank you for trusting us with your loved one. Uh, during the 10 weeks of base combat training, your soldier has been conducting uh, strenuous physical training, learning how to shoot with a rifle because of an extension of their hands. Uh, learning to throw uh, live hand grenades, navigating in the woods during the day and night, sometimes successful, sometimes not successful. <laughs> Repelling, negotiating obstacles, and, uh, and crawling in the mud or in the sand sometimes with live bullets flying over their heads. They have done a lot. You should be proud. But also during the last 10 weeks, they have learned the intangibles. And those intangibles are important today, especially at a time when we have to consider the future of not just America, but of the world. Those intangibles matter, and those intangibles move us forward in so many different ways that we can't recognize. The intangibles for us, though, as a profession are the Army values. They are loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They learn that these are not merely words, but values to live by. It has been a long 10 weeks and then some, but today they are standing in front of you as soldiers. The next number, something near to 72. There are 72 drill sergeants who have dedicated themselves to one mission over these last 10 weeks to prepare soldiers for combat and victory on the next battlefield or contingency operation, whatever that is. A mission that they take very seriously and they know that uh, these soldiers one day will have to uh, put their expertise to be able to further the interests of the United States or make the world better. It would be difficult to put a number on the number of these hours drill sergeants spend during the 10 weeks they're training soldiers, so I'll just leave it at a lot. Families, please join me in a round of applause as we recognize the tremendous effort that they and the cadre have extended to the soldiers. different things such as the best, top-notch, the most desired position. Soldiers on the field today, you join the one, or more precisely, less than one percent, one percent of our country that raised their hand and stand ready to deploy and engage to destroy the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. You represent the one, the first, for you are the first line of defense, or the first line of protection for whoever asks to support them. You have the tools to be the best, the best that this country has to offer as long as you apply those traits um, and, and meet the moral, academic, and physical standards of our profession. You're top notch, you've been measured against uh, tough Army standards, and you're standing here today. We are fortunate to have more one percenters with the world, and we continue to need your talents, and we ask you to continue to move forward and do all that, you, that, that you're supposed to do. I ask you to stand tall in everything that you do. I ask you to lengthen your stride in everything that you do. And I ask you to stand a little bit taller than you have before to make not just America the best country in the world, but make the United States Army the best army in the world. I bid you God luck and, and, and I'm sorry, good luck and Godspeed. Always forward, strike strong, victory starts here.
Today's soldier is a above all warrior. Adaptive, confident, and confident. As a soldier, you are totally committed to the warrior ethos. Grounded in Army values and determined to destroy enemies in the United States of America and her allies. The United States Army Soldiers Creed embodies this commitment. The uniform you wear at this moment is more than an outward display of your vocational choice. Your uniform is a symbol of a nation and an unspoken assurance to all who see you that you are a willing and able protector of the freedoms fought so arduously for by all who have gone before and those who will bravely come after. You have become what you set out to be, a soldier of the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. located to the left of the bleachers. All other family members and friends may meet their soldier to the far right of the bleachers at the end of the parade field. We ask that you please remain seated and in the bleachers until all soldiers have passed the reviewing stand and the playing of the Army song is complete.
starting is Lesquino Rivera, Middletown, New York. Yeah. Led by Drill Sergeant Jennifer Clayton, Portland, Texas. In the rear of the formation is the First Sergeant. First Sergeant Virgil Livingston, Lawrence, South Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, we are reminded that as you are approached by the American flag, it is appropriate to rise in the main stage.
This concludes today's ceremony. Family members of Lordies, please meet your soldier under the canopy to the left of the bleachers. All other family members, please meet your soldier to the far right of the bleachers at the end of the prank field. We ask that you please remember to take all trash and personal items with you as you exit. Once again, thank you for your attendance. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a safe journey home. Victory starts here.